Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video will be an intro to the Eclipse scripting API, and essentially my goal for this channel is just to bridge the gap between .NET development and using the Eclipse scripting API. Just an outline, we're going to talk about what is a SAPI, who uses it, getting started, accessing the API, and resources. First of all, what is a SAPI? It stands for the Eclipse scripting API. Eclipse is a treatment planning software that was developed by Varian for uh, use in their suite of radiotherapy products. It's used to generate treatment treatment plans for patients that receive radiation therapy. So the Eclipse scripting API is the API that they give their users access to in order to perform various read and write functions on the database. And then some common uses for a SAPI might be to automate planning, generate quality checks for plans, for DVHs, data collection, and automation of a lot of different repetitive tasks that you might have to do in, in Eclipse. All right, so then who uses it? So for the most part, medical physicists are the largest group of people that would be involved in scripting with a SAPI, then some software developers and medical dosimetrists hopefully are out there. Then getting started, the first thing that you need is a development environment or an IDE, which stands for Interactive Design Environment. If you're new to programming, Visual Studio, the community edition, that's the free edition. That is what I will be using. I think most people probably start out with that unless you're on a large team and someone else is paying for it. You're probably using the community edition. When I first started the channel, I was using version 2019 and now they have a 2022 version. The next thing that you'll need is access to the SAPI DLL DLL is short for Dynamic Link Library, and essentially this is just a way that you can compile code into a shareable format, and then it can be referenced by other projects. The two most common DLLs that we'll use for clip scripting end in API and types. There's some other ones though. There's one for portal dosimetry and different things. All right, so some different resources. Varian has a website where they have various different videos and they've updated a lot of things. There's also a forum that you can ask questions and communicate with other users. This does require a MyVarian account, but you can get that through the company that you work for. Then there's the Asapi Reddit page. It's a great community. A lot of people are active on that. On GitHub, there's tons of different repositories. Stack Overflow, obviously, and then YouTube. <laughs> hopefully will be a good resource. Some channels that I personally like, especially for WPF and MVVM, I really like Singleton Sean's channel. There's some others though, like I am Tim Corey. He has a, a lot of good fundamental C-sharp stuff. Angel6, David Anderson, Code Monkey. Those are a few others that I find myself looking to regularly, and there's tons of others. Some prominent names in our actual field would be Matthew Schmidt, Carlos Anderson, and Rex Carden. And you can check out their GitHubs. Carlos Anderson has a blog. And then Rex Carden has a YouTube channel as well. Specifically, Matt Schmidt and Rex Carden are involved with teaching Varian's scripting course. So if you've taken that, which I highly recommend that you take that. And then I just want to touch on my general goals for this channel. What I hope will happen is that learning a SAPI and even just C Sharp in general will become easier. So when I started learning, I had a very slow learning curve. That was just because the way that I was learning was not conducive to learning quickly. I think there's faster ways that you can learn things, especially if you know the order in which you kind of need to know them. I just hope to provide a steeper learning curve, at least an opportunity for one. A lot of the stuff is probably geared toward people learning and starting out. I kind of hope that more dosimetrists will become more interested or at least have an avenue or a path to learn. I'll just have a lot of videos that cover a range of topics from an intro to C-sharp, MVVM, standalone projects, and different things. With that, I hope that you guys will stay interested, come up with an idea, and get to coding. It's the best way to learn. Good luck, everyone, and I hope you have a great day. 